Why is Elk not taking a good picture? I do my best. But they just don't seem to turn out good. I've got a good megapixel camera. But I still can't take a picture. Is it the settings? Should I change it to something else? Like, you go to S. Automatic mode with shutter speed. Well, what's the shutter speed got to do with photo? What's all these stuff down here? What's all the settings you can change in? ISO and aperture. What do they do? What do they mean? What's this square box here with a lock across it? What? Well, if you like me, and you ain't got clear half of your settings on your camera, and you can't seem to take a good uh, photo. What do you do? Well, I've got a solution for you. I'm recommending you this book called The Gadget A Scientist Guide to Using Your Digital Camera. Seriously, this book is brilliant. Uh, this book is available at uh, www.gadgetscientist.com and if you use the coupon code GEEKS2010 you save yourself £4. So I would like to thank the Gadget Scientists uh, for sending me this book and also the coupon code to pass on uh, to my viewers. A uh, quick flick through the book and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. I'll quickly go through it with you. Uh, it's basically got five chapters all together and the chapters covers the following. Chapter one basic camera, sorry camera basics. Uh, the common features and functions of digital point and shoot and DSLR cameras which obviously sounds for digital, digital single lens reflex uh, my particular camera is even though it is a digital camera it's a point and click one so point and shoot yeah. uh, chapter 2 is taking photos taking photos in auto and using basic settings so on this particular camera it actually says auto there it's auto and that's pretty much how it is the it tries to adjust for the environment the lighting around it and all that so that's auto and of course going through the chapters going to give you loads of tips a voice and so on and of course this applies to each of the chapters uh, chapter 3 is advanced settings Move beyond auto and taking photos using the creative modes. So now you're talking about going onto stuff like P, A, S, M, S, P, 1, yeah, and so on. Uh, chapter 4 is How Do I? And that gives you uh, practical tips on how to improve your photos. So it gives you tips like uh, how do I take a good photo of groups or how do I take photos of a uh, of my children, of animals, and yeah, parties and stuff like that. Yeah, I think parties are just good enough to check that. <laughs> but uh, well, you get the idea anyway. It does. Uh, it's like uh, this is the chapter four. It's how do I? So it gives you like tips on how do I help people relax, some of stuff, portrait children, families, groups and families, groups, pets. And so on, parties ain't in there, but groups, I suppose you call class groups as parties. Uh, indoor, how do you, yeah, indoor, take indoor, and so on. So it gives you plenty of how do I uh, tips in there. And of course, it gives you plenty of on how, stuff in the other categories. Uh, chapter 5 is technical tips. That will go over stuff like megapixels, uh, memory cards, batteries, and fire soils explained, which is a uh, it's good, it's good to know. Like I said, this book is covering everything. You know, right down to megapixels and batteries. Yeah, batteries, man. You know, this book covers everything you need to know about how to take a good, you know, good photo using portal and shoot and digital SLRs. But it also tells you a bit about our camera. Uh, camera. Uh, this book is obviously, is a plus to all cameras out there. You know, because they've all got that basic sort of function. Like, 
each camera used batteries, each camera need a memory card of some sort, each camera size in a certain file format. So it, it does apply to all uh, different cameras out there, all makes and models, which is one thing I love about this book. Uh, on the screen now I'm going to show you a couple of uh, close-up shots of the book to give you some examples. Uh, as you can see it's very well laid out, gives you like uh, good examples and bad examples. It's very nicely done. As you can see it's really really laid out well. Uh, it's also got stuff like uh, gadget tips which is found on most pages at the bottom. Gives you some tips. Uh, I myself I'm never really able to take stunning photos, you know. I've always blamed it down to the camera myself, but after reading this, I'm blaming myself because I just didn't know half the settings. I've had this book now over the weekend, on Saturday. I've read it a good three or four times. I've taken this book out with me, with my camera and I've took some good shots seriously I've, I've been impressed that I've learned a lot of tips from this book and I've been taking photos a lot better I can really see the difference um, I'm going to quickly run through some of the stuff and this is going to be very quick um, it covers like uh, the camera basics like what the play button does, erase, uh, sense mode, video mode, menus dual purposeless buttons, single shot of continuous photos, uh, chapter 2, I imagine this is, we're taking photos, tells you about the focus look, the focus system, autofocus, focus beam, flash settings, red eye reductions, maybe on to stuff like exposure values, aperture and depth of field, uh, creative mode settings, creative mode still on. Uh, advanced settings, white balance, how to improve conditions, how to relax people, how do I photograph pets, how do I take action photos, uh, how do I take photos at night, memory cards, megapixels and size, and so on. At the back of the book, there's also like a quiz. So you got a lot of uh, photos across your screen, and you're going to match the photos up with the uh, the camera settings or shutter speed aperture ISO so that's quite good that is because you know it shows if you, how well you learn in the book it's uh, 216 pages of good good tips and obviously uh, information and everything basically you need to know on how to uh, use your digital camera I'm very impressed with this Again, I'd like to thank the Gadget Scientist for sending me this and also the coupon code, code sorry, to use over at their website at www.gadgetscientist.com Again, if you use the coupon code, code sorry, it's twice I've done that, code Geeks2010, you save yourself £4. So, thanks again. I'm going to give this uh, particular book a GT ratings of 5 out of 5 if you're the person that wants to get better at using your camera this is the book for you well that's it for me until the next time see you later oh but before we go don't forget you can also follow us over at www.geekstech.co.uk twitter.com forward slash for geekstech youtube.geekstech you've got me.me forward slash geekstech um, youtube.com forward slash geekstech which is subscribe to all our videos and later on. then we've got the live uh, video for you going over the, the web 24 hours a day 7 days a week at live.geekstech.tv gotcha do not you can also say .uk but now it's .tv for the live video feed and as always, if you've got any technical questions or queries, or maybe 
your company. I want to send me something to review. Yeah, well, the guy's a scientist, that. Sure, feel free, contact me. Uh, send me an email. S mm, yeah, this is what we've come up with. Yeah. You send me that, that's Wayne at geektech.co.uk. So, last time, until the next time, see you later.